Crypto Muscle Coming to you with another YouTube video Oh yeah, International Now Worldwide Syndicate The Phenomenon is here The YouTube Sensation rocking All Nations Oh yeah Just saying, Crypto Muscle Pumping Iron, Pumping Crypto, that's what it's all about Two of my greatest passions Oh, and, and the, well Here Right where I'm at. Yes, that's all I can say. I'm not going to push any further than that. Coming to you in another video. All right, so let's take a look. All right, so um, about a week or two ago, I did a a video uh, package, I guess you could say. And it was kind of the rundown on Forsage from the beginning to where it's at, where it's kind of just been in, in uh, rough times right now. And my whole position on it, all right? So back in 2020, when this first came up, I took a look at it. And I was like, eh, it's not for me. I'm not into this sort of deal. And I don't know, because it's a matrixy sort of smart contract. And they always say the same thing as always, right? Oh, you don't got to recruit to earn, right? You just go in. And uh, as time goes on, you will earn, right? And all this other stuff. And the, the fact of the matter is, the reality of it is, is that you have to recruit to earn when it comes to these sort of matrixy type contracts. And Forsage was kind of ahead of its time because they were one of the early stage beginners in terms of this sort of matrix building you know stacking people on top of one another type of contracts that was unlike any other out there right when they started with the ETH this is two years ago now and we're talking about 2020 right because back then smart contracts consisted of hourglass and then they started going to ROI sort of contracts and it was just a lot of those things right and then Forsage was different for its time and uh, I don't know why they popped up. And so that's why they became big for what it was. And then what happens, right? As all contracts go through those times, right? Let me just go on all the way down. Let me go all the way down. So what happens? Well, it starts off with these two, right? And oh man, spillover. Oh, you know, you, you go and you get spillover and oh man all this stuff but what happens over time it's going to get to the point where uh ETH got gassed out you know gas fees and all that we're going to migrate everything over you know and we'll, we'll start new contracts right now they're in BUSD and all that so you know I went through all that already right and so I explained why I didn't want to get into it you know they got ETH and they migrate into Tron and then they migrated over into BSD. So, you know, if it was too much, oh shit, Tron's an option. If uh, you don't like Tron, well, now we have BUSD because it's the sign of the times, right? BUSD was last year. All right, it was a big thing last year going into this year, too. So, when you have all that in a form of these sort of contracts, hey, pick one that suits you, right? And all that stuff they've come to the point of many things all right and the many things that have occurred is uh one well you're going to hit a point where you know the matrix is going to run out all right in terms of people joining all right so what do you do you either start new contracts to attract the same people or other new people or you got to come up with something all right well the thing about it is, is that they've come to a point and I pointed out and I alluded to it in my last video I did was they're at a civil war right now right and a lot of he says she said all this stuff right and you know they he had two partners it's uh Dude, uh, what's his name? Leto, Leto, 
right? I think that was his name. Um, you know, he he had a couple of partners, right? So it was a three-headed crew. A lot of Lado, okay? And the three-headed crew, you know, they uh, butted heads because he claims that Oh, you know, these two always outvoted me when it came to a thing, right? When they came upon something. Um, and I guess come to find out, oh, these two are kind of working together against them. And so now with that, they you know, supposedly took over the Telegram group chat. Uh, they came out with this own rendition of the, what they call the Express Smart Game. And it's kind of, uh, I guess the next phase in Forsage, right? Uh, because, you know, it's going to get to the point where no more people is going to join. No more people is going to do anything. And what happens? No growth, no money moving around these contracts. Therefore, no earnings. Right, so what do you got to do? You got to find a way to get it flowing and going, or it's over, it's done. But they don't want to lose all they've de built these last couple years, right? So he came out, this Lado guy came out with his own force bot, force system, right? And, you know, it's um, supposed to be the next stage in this whole forsage matter and why you need to get into this bot. Right, it's funny how bots are kind of a thing, right? All of a sudden, um, you know, check out LXP. <laughs> uh, you know, I'll throw an LXP update into this one as well. I was going to do a separate video, but I'm going to throw it into this one as well. Um, so you have that, and then you have this Express Smart Game, right? You know, Forsage versus the Express Smart Game. And they said that Express is a scam pyramid. It poses a danger because there's temptations to enter at cheaper levels. And, you know, it's the same thing over again, right? You start, you know, at a certain level. And are you going to upgrade to a certain point where people that fall in under you, you can earn from, right? If it go past you, then you don't earn off of that. I mean, it's the same sort of you know, matrixy style contracts once again, all right? And it's the same crap either way, you know, whether you do this express smart game and, um, or you want to hang on to this. So you got this Forsage Force Bot, right? And um, I don't know, it's just, let's see, those who relate to them will not be able to slot levels in the Forsage Hard Fork. All right, so what, they're doing a hard fork now into this thing? I mean, come on. You know, um, let's see. The participants noticed that the usurpers of Forsage.io are again using all red lies, trying to cover up shameful fact that the failure of the Express scam game, they began to draw false numbers. Well, the Express game has been going, all right? So he's trying to say... They failed, but it's been going because I've been seeing people join the thing. And I'm like, I, I took a peek at it. I was like, I'm not going to join this crap. Um, so, you know, they, he's trying to throw more mud in the face again and say, oh, there's only a mere small amount of people who join. And all of a sudden, uh, it's a bigger number. Um, all this stuff, right? A lot of, you know, throwing mud at each other, you know bitching and moaning against each other he says she said a bunch of crap you know it's the civil war bullshit and i say you should just completely stay away from all this crap that's going on it's all gonna fall apart anyways right so the official statement of the real forsage regarding the financial pyramid smart game express we appeal to everyone who lost their money in this game being or damage their reputation the real forsage bears no responsibility for your losses um Express Game is a project of Forsage IO usurpers, which no longer has anything to do with Forsage. So supposedly, um, this Express Game has no more connection, has no connection to Forsage, even though the two out of three main people are from Forsage, right? It's just a mess. That's what it is. And they've been trying to, this guy's trying to push along his bot, and... People of Express 
are still saying they're part of Forsage. So I don't know. It's just a, a complete mess, you know. And and uh, catching you all up to speed, you know, he's really trying to push this, uh, you know, Forsage bot thing. And I don't know. It's just a it's just a mess. And I like I said, stay away from all this crap because it's all gonna fall apart. Because you're gonna end up losing either way. Uh, they're trying to keep this whole thing alive and it's obviously dying and that's why they're trying to shift things over to these new things right the four spot by Lado, the express game by the Lola and Glebe or wherever they are right so it's like either way they're trying to just keep it going because of all the people that's come involved in this thing and it's obvious these contracts are dying because there's just no money moving anymore. And they're trying to just keep that money flowing and going, but it's it's done. That's what it is. So, just wanted to give you guys an update on that. That the war is still ongoing. The Express game is out there. Because I've been seeing people join it. That whole bot thing, four spot, I don't know. I, I wouldn't mess with that crap either. But it's funny though, right? I got an update for you guys on that LXP one, which is a similar style of contract, right? Uh, let me see here. Let me go to LXP here. Um, because right after I did my video on all that, um, they ended up releasing an update on this whole bot thing because their contract's dead. And it died a lot faster than Forsage, obviously, because LSP hasn't been around. It's a similar style, sort of matrixy kind of contract. So this is what was announced, that they got this pre-launch bot going to the whitelist community. There have been changes and updates, blah, 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 blah. So the team will collaborate to give you the exact time and format of the rollout, and this is what they got planned. So the promo price would be $75, right, a month. And the cost of the bot would be $160 a month plus level 2 access. Alright. And $75 for the whitelist members. So if you signed up and you were waiting on the list, they got you for $75. The cost of the bot would be $160 a month plus level 2 access. And then the comp plan is follows. Level 1, level 2, level 3. So you enroll 10 members, you earn $500 a month. So they're trying to entice you. Oh man, if you get these people, oh man, this is how much you're going to make a month. And... 8000 a month on in instant payments, not included in the prosperity cycle payments or hands-free, hand-free money with the bot. On May 1st, though, which is, you know, a month away, all new members will need to be on level 5 to purchase the crypto trading software. Right, so, I don't know. You going to pay 160 bucks a month for this? Right? All they're doing is trying to hang on to you thinking and making you think that everything is good but i don't know 160 bucks is pretty steep for lxp and I, you'll be lucky to get something good out of that and worthwhile i mean yeah they're making it sound like oh man it's all good you're gonna make 500 a month residually and oh man if they enroll that and they enroll this and oh man you'll be earning that much more a month and holy shit You'll be making money. That's going to more than cover those, those monthly expenses. Yeah, it doesn't work like that for everybody. That's the thing. So this is the, I guess, the moral of all this crap. All right. These matrix style contracts suck. They're garbage. They're always going to try to pull you in and say, oh, you don't need a recruit to, to earn. All you got to do is just join in and you put it in. Oh, man, you're going to be making money from spillovers. And, oh, it's just easy stuff, right? And then as time goes on, it's just nothing, right? And then they're going to try, and then when it starts to die, they're going to try to shift you over into either new contracts or, in these examples, bots and all that stuff too. And then they're going to say, oh, see, you're going to be making the money off of this. But, in, but you just really don't. You're just wasting your time. And so good luck with all this crap. Because uh, in the end, this is all shit and and crap. And so comment down below. Let me know what you think about all this. And I'll see you in the next one.